my mother was an immigrant. She's from Costa Rica. Um, so I always knew I was black. When I went to Costa Rica, when we went to Limon, that's on the other side. It's Caribbean. The culture is different. The food is different. Everything is different. So I always knew that I was black. And it, like you said earlier, it wasn't associated with anything negative. It was beautiful because Limon tiene sabor. Limon has flavor. Like, so it was something to be proud of. But sometime around middle school, we moved from Flatbush and Flatbush is Caribbean, and, and it's a place where my mother felt very comfortable, and it was a place where I knew how to function. We moved to Bushwick. This is Bushwick in the in late 90s, early 2000s. Bushwick was still very much Puerto Rican. It was not, it was not getting gentrified. It wasn't, it wasn't cool. It was Bushwick. <laughs> if you don't know that I speak Spanish, then you are likely to say a lot of things as you blow out my hair. And I heard many things, many comments on the color of my skin, on my weight, on, and I would come home and tell my mother, and my mother in her righteous indignation would walk with me to the salon and she would blur out with this beautiful, quick Spanish that I could not emulate because I was born here. And she would tell me to defend myself, but how do you defend yourself against an entire salon that is saying that you're not beautiful, that you're not, that you're, you have pelo malo? Or like, so it's, it's interesting, right? Like, my understanding of being black within the context of Costa Rica was never negative. Coming here, being in Bushwick, to be black and to be Hispanic or to be Latino was, it, it, they could, the, never the two shall meet. That was when I realized, oh wow, I am black and I am, and I'm strange black because I'm a black person who speaks Spanish. I'm even stranger because my, my accent isn't Caribbean, it's Central American. And so I just don't fit in anywhere in this context of a Puerto Rican Dominican neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And so th at that moment, I made conscious decisions to say, well, I'm just not gonna be Latina anymore. I am going to just stick to the Afro-Caribbean side because it made sense. My last name is English. Like, this just makes sense. And so that became the conscious decision for me to identify solely as West Indian, even though my roots are in Central America. Like, so it just became it, 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 a whole section of my identity was cut off for the next decade.